Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will be making a delicious sorrel concentrate. We are also going to be making some sorrel drink out of that same concentrate. Remember, for all the ingredients and measurements, it will be listed down below in the description box. Now here is what you will need for today's recipe. Now here is what you will need for today's recipe. In my bowl I have a piece of ginger, I have four bay leaves, some whole pimento, clove, mixed essence, I have one lime, and here I have a piece of orange peel. It's about the length of my palm. I also have one cinnamon stick. Over here I have my sugar, and I have here my sorrel petals that I already wash and I would just place it here to drain off. Now before we head over to the stove, we are just going to prepare some of the ingredients we will be using today. You first want to grab your orange peel and we are going to scrape the pit out of the orange. That white little thing there that I'm scraping out, that's called the pit of the orange, which is a little bit more bitter and will not be a good combination with the sorrel drink. Since the sorrel is already so sour, you know, adding the bitterness from that orange and the sourness from the sorrel will definitely not be a good combination. Now, after you're finished scraping the pit off of that piece of orange peel, this is how it should be looking. We wanna add that pure skin to the drink nothing else now you're going to grab your ginger and you're going to slice it into thin slices after slicing the ginger you're going to add it to the bowl and we're going to slice our lime now if you have a large lime you're going to use two to three slices from the middle of the lime and if you have a small lime then you're going to go ahead and use the whole lime so now that we're done preparing our ingredients we are going to head over to the stove. Now to my pot, I'm going to go in with six cups of water. We are then going to allow the water to come up to a boil. And as soon as the water comes up to a boil, you're going to remove the sorrel from the pot. It's one of the reasons I placed it in the strainer directly into the pot. Now you're not going to let the sorrel sit in the pot boiling for minutes otherwise the drink is going to get extremely sour and you won't like it now you don't have to be afraid to remove the sorrel after the water comes up to a boil by then the sorrel will already done its job now you're just going to shift the strainer to the side and you're going to go in with all the other ingredients you have in the bowl such as the lime the ginger the essence, the clove, the allspice, and everything else you have. Now the reason we're adding those ingredients directly into the pot is because as soon as the water comes up to a boil and we remove the sorrel petal, we want those other ingredients to boil for a few minutes so that all the ingredients can infuse their flavor in the sorrel drink. Now, as you can see, my water came up to a boil and I'm just gonna remove my petal here. Now, look at that water, how red and vibrant the color is. You already know the sorrel did its purpose. Now, we're just going to allow this to cook for about 10 minutes so that all the other ingredients get to infuse nicely in that sorrel drink. Now after 10 minutes, I'm gonna go in with my hand strainer again and remove all the other ingredients in the pot. They have already done their purpose as well. Now after removing the other ingredients from the pot, I'm gonna go in with my sugar. Now since we added six cups of water, we are going to allow this to boil until the water reduces to about four cups. Now after the liquid reduces to about four cup, we are going to strain that in a nice glass jar or before you put it in your glass jar, you can strain it out in a measuring cup to make sure that you have that four cup. 
If you have a little bit more or a little bit less, it's not a big deal. It will not change the recipe in any way. Now here's a look after I strain mine out into a four cup measuring cup. I have just a little bit over four cups, but like I mentioned earlier, it's not a big deal. And that basically is how easy it is to make sorrel concentrate. Now I'm going to empty this in my mason jar and I'm going to place it in the fridge so that I can enjoy a glass or a mug of sorrel drink throughout the year. You don't have to wait until Christmas season to enjoy a glass of sorrel drink, guys. And if I didn't mention, this sorrel concentrate will be good in the fridge for more than a year. It depends on how often you make sorrel drink, then you can have it even longer. Now after all that hard work, let's make a mug of sorrel drink. Now to my mug, I have four cups of water. To every four cups of water, I usually would add in one cup of sorrel concentrate. After adding in that one cup of concentrate, if you think you need to add some more sugar, you can go right ahead and add some more sugar. It depends on how sweet you like it, you can add in some more sugar. It's all about your preference and what you like. Now to my beautiful decorated mason jar, I'm going to go in with my sorrel drink and I'm going to sip and enjoy. Cheers guys, cheers to a very Merry Christmas and a prosperous and joyful New Year. Now that brings us to the end of today's video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet subscribed for more delicious recipe. As usual, I want to say thank you for watching, goodbye and I will see you in my next video.